and his normally hot hand has gone ice cold as of late. Their best three-point shooter, 0 for 2 to start. Mooney steps into it, and the trailer makes the Hurricanes pay. They're up by nine in the first three minutes. As they've started to find a comfort level there, it also has helped them offensively. Johnson left block, sitting in the dunk spot, Izundu. And Notre Dame going on almost five minutes without a basket. Likes charges right in to Jawan Durham. How about that fearlessness from the five foot seven Chris Likes? Chan of one of the best shot blockers in this conference in Jawan Durham. Varsity basketball right there. <laughs> Vasilovic connects from three for the first time today, coming off his first scoreless game of the year. With Mooney at the five, they can really play five out if they want to. Still, he helps clog the lane for Jogo. 3.15 to go first half. It's been a quiet one for John Mooney so far. He's got eight straight double-doubles for Notre Dame. Anybody call you Jorkor? No, never. Let's <laughs> keep it that way, huh? Johnson fades front iron. Rebound. Izundu slams at the buzzer. Count the basket. As they've guarded each other all night. Nice reverse lay in there from Johnson to find every available inch of space along the baseline. Lawrence saw space and turns it into three over Lasheski, the freshman from here in Florida. Mooney with the feed, Jogo dunks. Probably the best half court execution the Irish have had tonight. I like that idea, though, in general. You know, there's a lot of talk coming up with the start of baseball season on the way. You know, I got to give a lot of respect to these Hurricanes. 9 and 12, one win and nine tries in conference. All the reason in the world to give up on the year what the Irish brought tonight, or lack thereof. Vasilovich, for good measure, launches another three pointer. 62-47, your final. Notre Dame has a lot of questions to answer after this one.